So Thomas Botler Church of England High School is more than a school, it's more than an institution. It is the Botler family. What goes on between the four walls on a daily basis is something really precious and special. We're looking after the academic success of a child, but also the holistic development of a child. So Thomas Botler Church of England High School is a community. Young people learn in very many different ways and it is about studying for their GCSE examinations and it is about furthering their knowledge and their education. However, it's about being people. People are special and relationships are precious and how we interact with people on a daily basis is so important. We are the hub of our community within Latchford and within Warrington and we see our role within the community as absolutely crucial. I've been working with this school and this community for 13 years. I've been involved in open evenings, explaining to parents how police involved with the school is a positive thing, not just a negative thing, because people see a police car or a PCSO in the area and they think, what's gone on? Well, at this school, they're encouraged, we work together, um, we, we get involved in all sorts of things. I've had people who've gone on to do public services at college because they've seen the work we've done here and thought, I want to do that, I want to make a difference in the community. So again, that comes from teamwork, the school and ourselves working together. Each Christmas we have a Christmas party for the elderly people in our community as most of them are often isolated and they feel welcome in our school. It's just been absolutely brilliant. It's a beautiful school, I didn't realise how good it was. I think it helps them because it makes them happier and they get to speak to people that they don't normally speak to. I made a few friends there tonight. The students was very nice to talk to. It wasn't like that in my school days. Our young people and our ambassadors and our student leadership body see themselves as the role models within the community. And it's really, really wonderful to see so many young people collaborate together over a joint project, for example, like the carol service at Christmas, and see all the different generations of families coming together, some who came to this school when it was a grammar school, um, and how important that the school has been in their lives and continues to be. I think it's really good how the Warwick and Wolves Foundation, they come into the school and they do a lot of uh, coaching sessions with the kids, make kids aspire to, uh, to go further with the sport and develop as much as they can. Just speaking about sport now for me and talking about how it's a little bit of an escape. Playing rugby for me or play, playing any sports, just having that camaraderie, having, that, having a laugh with each other really does help with the mental side. Also, diet-wise, eating healthy is, is a massive thing for me. Uh, I mean, I've struggled massively with my weight over the years. When I was a bit, little bit younger, probably, probably in high school, um, I struggled with it and I used to be really protective over my weight and, you know, that, that's fine because I, I am me and, and I'm okay with that. Um, but, you know, getting a healthy diet gives you a lot more of a healthy mindset um, to, to attack the day with. I think what's important is that we have elite professional sports people who are a really positive role model for our young people. The pathways that they have been on are very varied and demonstrate to our young people that whatever it is they want in life can be achievable. I was never the most talented player and I'm not the most talented player but what's got me to where I am now is hard work and turning up early to training sessions, wearing the right kit, being a good person, being respectful, having good manners. That's the things that a coach looks at because um, if I turned up and I was arrogant and I was not a nice person, they're not going to want to deal with you. So that, the main thing they always say is we look for good people here. Being a good person, doing the right thing, helping people out and um, that'll always get you far in life. The school here has the school motto, through God we care, and I personally want to be a, a real part of that, whether it's with the students or staff or support staff, and indeed the wider family of parents and carers. Sometimes things happen in life that are not very pleasant and very difficult to go through, and I'd love to be able to support, if required, 
uh, and to come alongside people and help people walk through what can be sad times and difficult times, but also to enjoy times of celebration and thankfulness as well. So a fairly central part of my role is to come into school to be involved in acts of collective worship. That means assemblies, it means taking school lessons, it means speaking with the ethos committee. I'm also involved in after schools clubs that are going on and perhaps taking some RE lessons, uh, helping with the RE department there. But just being part and parcel of the worship life of the school, something to be enjoyed, not merely endured. It seems to me really important as somebody involved in a church in the local community that church and school can come together and be part of the same community and to encourage people to be exploring these issues uh, to the best of our ability. So I want to be able to give people opportunity to engage uh, with me and with issues of the Christian faith in a very open sort of way, whether they're in the, in the school as pupils and students or part of the wider school family. One of the most important aspects of our community engagement is some of the transition that we do. The community aspect of the primary element of education is really important for us. We work with a huge amount of primary schools. Last year alone we took from over 21 primary schools um, across Warrington. We run the sports days and support with those for the primary schools because we have brilliant facilities here. It's about how we can support those primary schools in offering services, in offering support, in offering in teaching support um, within languages for example what is it we can do to ensure that we educate all young people uh, across Warrington and what can we share and collaborate over we have many groups through the student leadership body eco teams ethos teams uh, and part of their remit is to make sure that they go out into the community and they work with different groups for example there has been some issues um, with litter within the community. Our pupils feel very strongly about that because they're proud of their roots and they're proud of where they belong. And so they approached us to ask if they could form a group that would go out and support with the litter picking um, within the local community. At Sir Thomas Butler Church of England High School, we have a transition programme which ensures that all our students are ready both academically and pastorally for the next stage of their education. The transition programme involves our students from Key Stage 2 to Key Stage 3, from Key Stage 3 into Key Stage 4, and Key Stage 4 into Key Stage 5. We work extremely closely with our primary schools across Warrington to ensure that all our students are ready and prepared for their move into Year 7. We have a fantastic ambassador programme which allows our students from Year 7 to 11 to help at all the events and that allows our primary school children to get to know older students within the school and also develop relationships with them before they even start in Year 7. We also run the Duke of Edinburgh Award for our Year 9 and 10 students and for this they have to do lots of hours and volunteer in the community with activities that will help everybody in our community. The other aim of TCAP Parliament is to help reduce single-use plastic in our community, in all the TCAP schools, as well as our community across Warrington. The colleges are a huge part of our successful post-16 transition programme. Our transition programme allows all parents, carers and students to come up to Sir Thomas Butler Church of England High School and engage and get to know our school, our systems, our staff and of course our other superb students. In the summer we hold a fantastic summer camp and we open this to all our Year 6s who are going to join us in the Year 7. We work closely with all our sixth form colleges to ensure that all our students are prepared for post-16 education. We work closely in partnership with the PLED Cheshire and Warrington. Their aim is to inspire the future generation of their employees. We have many councils at school that allow lots and lots of children to take part. So we have our school council, we have our ethos council, we have our eco council, we have our TCAP parliament, we have our anti-bullying ambassador programme, we also have our Archbishop of York Young Leaders Award. We work closely with the National Citizen Service. One of the main aims of the school council is to raise money to various charities. TCAP parliament involves all our 10 schools who are in TCAP. Their charity this year was Clatterbridge Cancer Support and at all the events that TCAP did together we raised money for Clatterbridge Cancer Support. As a church school we pride ourselves on the pastoral support that we offer in school but we also recognise that it has to go beyond the school gates. 
There were some families in a diverse community that need that additional love and support and we've been able to offer this. Throughout the year we've been able to offer food packages and breakfast deliveries both through the academic year but at key points as well where families may be looking at Christmas at a time that they're dreading. We make sure that they can have food hampers and we've even led on a toy appeal where we ensure that no child goes without. Our staff in school are fully committed to working collaboratively with parents and carers and our pastoral team are experienced and proactive, adopt strategies to support some of our most vulnerable families. We've been able to deliver parenting courses here in school, working alongside the local authority. And we regularly have parent groups. We have groups for parents of children with special educational needs and disabilities. Here they're able to spend quality time with other parents in similar situations. And also the quality time spent with the teachers and the staff that work with their children on a daily basis. A well-rounded educational experience is crucial for our students and we work hard to create opportunities beyond the classroom and opportunities to go into the community and learn. We've got strong links with the fire station and police force where they've supported us in delivering mentoring programmes and courses to help with re-engagement in the community, relationship building, respect and to ready students for the world of work. One project we're particularly proud of is the Share a New School project. This is a project where students go out into the community, into local care homes and work with adults from another generation. Feedback suggested that students worked with compassion and the residents were actually saying how they felt invigorated following the work that we've done. This was just as powerful as watching the students learn a new skill in a different environment in the community. It really is all about high expectations, high aspirations, high standards, you will succeed as Thomas Butler Church of England High School. Through God, we really do care about each and every individual who steps foot within our school, within our four walls. However, whatever we do as a school permeates out of the four walls, far reaching into the community and beyond. And that's something we will always be very proud of.